oh, we're on anniversary vacation. This is where we try the things. Hey guys, it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway and I'm here with a drugstore makeup haul, CVS to be exact. So if you're curious what I've picked up, then just keep watching. Here we go. All right, a lot of these products I was influenced. Um, I don't know that I could tell you a particular person that influenced me, but I can say I most of these products I saw on TikTok, I saw on YouTube, I've just seen somewhere along the way. And when we went on our anniversary trip last weekend, I I was like, you know what, girl, just buy what you want. All those little things you've been looking at, just go ahead and buy all those little things. So that's what we did, all right? So let's jump into it. I talked about this in last week's video. I got lash extensions, and they are still holding on. Uh, this is probably the last week that they'll look decent, and then they'll probably start looking a little chaotic. Um, I did just like a classic natural lash extension and I'm not going to maintain them. Uh, I just kind of miss rubbing my eyes and you're not supposed to wear eyeshadow so I don't have any eyeshadow on. But I haven't worn eyeshadow in like two weeks and I miss rubbing my eyes even though we shouldn't be rubbing our eyes. And it's really challenging to wash the face with eyelash extensions because you kind of have to go around everything. Putting those minor inconveniences to the side, I think they're gorgeous and I love them. So I was trying to think of like what way could I on a low key maintain them. And this product has been going around. It's new, but it is from Kiss and it is Impress. What do they call them? Press on falsies. So there's no glue. You just take this little guy and you take the little pieces and you put them under your eyelashes. You see here. So they go under your eyelash and then you can either do like a little cluster at the end or you can do like a few. Um, you can kind of choose what you want them to look like. I got spiky. I don't know if spiky is the only option. I'm thinking I'll do one or two. Um, and see how that goes, but it's only one step. It's two to three applications, and it says it stays bonded for 24 hours. It only stays on 24 hours, but I'm not really sure, like, will they reapply after that 24 hours, or, like, is that it for them? I don't know. I'm gonna try them and see, and go from there. I don't foresee this being something I do daily, but maybe if I just want a little, uh, 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 yeah. So pick this up. You can also get it on Amazon for a couple dollars cheaper. Uh, okay. The next thing I got, um, there's this TikToker I watch, um, Makeup Queen is her name, and <laughs> if you follow Reddit, Reddit has everything. Like, if you watch somebody and you're like, get weird vibes. I wonder if other people get weird vibes. And then you go to Reddit, I guarantee you someone else, at least one if not hundreds, have the vibes. And sometimes they can be a little mean. Her Reddit account is very mean. I can't follow it. Like, I saw her and I'm like, she kind of seems like she had a story because she mentioned some stuff on her lives that kind of insinuated that there was some drama in her background. So I was like, I bet Reddit knows about her drama. They did, but they are mean. There are some Reddit pages that are just pure bullies. And then there are some Reddit pages that are just kind of like, I just have some thoughts that I wanted to share. And they're pretty like gentle and non not hurtful. They're just kind of like, did you guys think this was weird? Or does something seem off with it? Like that kind of stuff I'm okay with. But if we're going to call names, I'm not in on it. So I have to check out of her little Reddit page real quick. But all that to say, she every day she posts these Get Ready With Me's. And one thing she uses is this Sumbum 30. She's literally the only person I have seen ever talk about this product. This is so freaking pretty. It's r dewy radiant glow. It is a lower SPF so if you're going to wear this alone you might want to uh, layer it up maybe with the other product I'm going to show you. But I think under a full face of makeup maybe it's okay. I don't know. But uh, it's very beautiful. This is the consistency 
of like the um, Super Goop or the Elf. But it's not as like intense of a glow. It's just a very pretty radiant glow and it wears so pretty under makeup and it's kind of in the price point between elf and uh super group so this is 18 dollars, and i've really enjoyed it i have it on under my makeup today it wears as a nice primer as well so i've been really enjoying that product um and then I've seen other people on TikTok talk about this product, which is Sunbum Face Mist. And it's Refreshing Face Mist Sunscreen uh, SPF 45. And I've been seeing how uh, people are saying on TikTok that you should still reapply your SPF, even if you have a full face of makeup. So something like this is really nice because it's a really gentle mist. It smells really good of coconut it has a nice spray bottle but this does twist off and i think some of it might have leaked when we went to the pool but this was just a really nice way to keep applying my spf i haven't done it over makeup but i did do it at the pool because i did um i think i did the sun bum and then i did like an spf 50 and then every couple hours I reapplied that SPF 50, but I just kept reapplying this to my face and I didn't burn. I still got like a little sun, but I didn't burn. So that is good enough for me. This has been really nice to use. I needed a new uh, face moisturizer for the evening. I already finished that Clinique one from the Sephora haul a uh, few weeks, month back whatever I already finished it maybe I used too much I don't know my skin just like absorbed it and it felt nice but I didn't want to spend that much money on it again this is the prebiotic skincare double repair voice face moisturizer um it's fragrance free has ceramides and niacinamide I have tried this many times in the SPF version and I thought I would go ahead and try it in non-SPF to use it at night and this is so nice. This absorbs so nicely into the face. It's like $20, $21 but you get this uh, pretty big amount. How much is it? 3.38 fluid, fluid ounces and it just absorbs so nicely into the skin and it's not thick but it's not water thin it's somewhere in the middle of that when i was at cvs i was um like on google seeing like what the best drugstore um night moisturizer was just to see if there was something different that i haven't really tried and i haven't tried this without the spf and i have used it a couple of times now and i do really really like it so that's definitely going to be on the rotation of um, moisturizers that i repurchase um this is a, a really good brand as well all right this is a pretty short haul i didn't indulge too much but i still did and you know all of this still adds up even with your little cvs cvs coupons it still adds up a little bit um okay the next thing i got was this um it's a little color and it is by Maybelline and it's the Super Stay 24 Hour Color and it looks like this. So this is kind of like a liquid lip and mine is a coral color in 240 Almighty, Almighty Apricot I think is the name of it. But this is going to like basically stain your lips um, and then this is a gloss that you just keep reapplying throughout the day. I didn't love it from the first time I wore it. I felt like it just settled into every crack of my skin that you could literally see every crack. And I did keep re-moisturizing with this in throughout the day, which helped. But once it was settled into my lips, that part just never went away. And it didn't really matter like how much gloss I put over it. It never like smoothed it out. So I'm going to try again. Maybe I just need to have a little bit more, more moisture on my lips before I do it or I'm just going to experiment a little bit because I love the app, the idea of something staying on 24 hours but I didn't really love how it wore off and then it's just like a doe foot applicator here so I have mixed feelings I'm curious if you've tried this have you had a different experience or was it the same um and it also could have been this coral color that just kind of 
was sinking into my fine lines on my lips but it is such a pretty spring summer color so I really want the color to work out for me so I'll keep experimenting with what to do with it um but the first go wasn't great I know who exactly influenced me on this next product she's on TikTok I think her her name is Caroline TV or something. She's a news reporter. You might have seen her because she's like viral all the time. But she does like get ready with me for the news and it's like super quick. Like she's always out of time. So it's kind of like manic <laughs> and frantic and you're kind of stressed along with her. But she does a full face of makeup including lashes in like five, ten minutes. So it's like so impressive. She doesn't film those videos quite as much anymore because she works later in the day she used to do morning news so it was really like a a moment her trying to get her <laughs> makeup and hair done but now um she works in the evening so she does more of like touch up with me makeup videos and not so much like the full makeup situation but she uses this a lot and I kind of went back and forth on getting it because she's doing her makeup for the news which means it's going to be super full coverage a lot thicker than what you would want in everyday life just because the lights and everything will wash you out. But I was like, you know what, we're on anniversary vacation. This is where we try the things. So I picked it up and it is the Revlon Concealer Stick. This is a Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. And I got mine in the color Light Pale 002 because Erica Taylor on, she does her, uh, reels on she puts the same video on all platforms so you can find her on youtube instagram and tiktok um she says to get your concealers a little bit darker than you think so that it hides like your fine lines a little bit more and isn't actually a cover-up so i kept that in mind when i purchased yes i've already like gadged my put i've already like dug my nail in it on accident but this is what it looks like and i do have it on today and it's a good color match as far as a concealer goes for me and I haven't tried swiping it on my eyes because I just feel like that's going to be like too thick of coverage because this is a thicker um, product but I'll take about this much on my fingers and I'll just warm them up okay maybe I take a little bit more than that and then I dab it on under my eyes and I have it on today and I've had it on for um about 12 hours maybe just a little shy of 12 hours and you can see it looks so good like I don't really do you see any I mean you can see my fine lines but it doesn't look crazy whereas like a lot of times it looks crazy by this point but it looks so good and I've tried it over my lighter um foundation today I have this one on the L'Oreal True Match nude I have this on well okay let's break it down I have this on and then I skipped my primer because I had that on and then I went right in with this and then I tapped this over so I just put some of my fingers tapped it in and then I set everything so this is like a full drugstore moment here um with the elf halo powder and mine is in light and I think it looks so pretty. So I do really like this product. Again, I did not swipe it on, which is what she does. And maybe it's what other people do. But I just know it's going to be too thick for me to like... But taking a little bit on my fingers, melting it in, and then taking my time to press it in has been... It's been good. I've worn it a few times now. But it's been good. And it's really helping me like this uh l'oreal nude this is okay um there's it's not the product it's me it's just too light of coverage i figured out which maybe i'll always have like a light coverage product but i don't want it to be my only product and it has been for a while sadly but we're almost done with this one um anyways that was a tangent but a tangent to lead me to my next point and many of you will be like girl we knew she'd be back. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know this is my favorite product. I compare everything to it, but I haven't had it in a while because I've used up everyone that I've ever had. 
It is the one, the only, the L'Oreal Pro Glow N202. You gotta get the 202 if you're close to my skin. You probably need another color if you're not. <laughs> I've heard rumors on Google that this is discontinued, but let me tell you, I still see it in stores. I still see it on Amazon. She's still obtainable. So maybe it is discontinued and they just have a huge back stock to work through. I can't tell you, but I'm still, as long as I'm able to find it, I will buy it. And this is beautiful. I've already worn it a couple of times. It's just as good as I remember. It's a nice medium coverage. It's very glowy and it literally just melts. It just melts into my skin and it just looks so pretty. I just love it so much. Um, and it, a full face of makeup sits so pretty on top of it. You know, it has an expiration date on it, and it says 12-2024. That, that leads me to believe they're still making it. Anyways, I digress. It's so pretty on my face. All my products sit so pretty on top of it, and if this does actually get discontinued, I need to know who's replacing her. Okay, like, is it the product already on the shelves? It's not that nude wear. I can tell you that right now. Maybe that if it was, it, it's not. Okay. Um, I just love this so much and I'm just going to enjoy using it. And I'm so happy to have a medium coverage back in the rotation. It really is helping the other powder products sit well on my face. I am learning that with a very light coverage foundation, you need very light makeup on top of it because it is not thick enough to hold a full B, okay? It just, it can't hold on for you. Whereas like a medium or a full coverage, she's gonna hold on the whole time. <sighs> and that is the haul, y'all. You know what, Jared and I, um, we're frugal people, okay? We're, we're, we're balling on a budget type people. But we let our, we enjoyed ourselves on vacation. We treated ourselves, I got some makeup, he got some clothes, um, but we're reeling it back. We're back to balling on a budget. We talked about today, we're like, that was fun. Glad we could do that for ourselves and each other, but we're back on a budget. So you probably won't see a haul over here for a little while, okay? But I do want to say next week will be a Shop My Stash by Weekly Makeup Basket. And then I think we have one more week. So what do you want that video to be? A get ready with me, a vlog. Um, because the week after that is 4th of July and I'm just not going to post a video that week because holidays, we just need to all be chilling, okay? We just need to all be chilling, enjoying our loved ones, and yeah, it's just kind of like an little agreement I made with myself. We don't film on holidays, so that will be like a no video and then we'll be back to it. So let me know what video you want before then. We will have a weekly makeup basket but what do you want other than that a vlog get ready with me i've read some more books i've read more books we could do another book review so i'm gonna let y'all decide let me know in the comments otherwise thank you all so much for being here please share this video or my channel with your friends so we can help grow the channel let people know who i am i am a very very small channel and the only way people know about me is you so please share my video and let people know what we do over here and yeah that's all i got hope you're having a great week and you have a wonderful weekend or whatever day you're watching this subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in my next video bye